It is now a lot easier to get studio quality sound in Audacity with real time effects. It was always possible to make your voice sound better with Audacity, but doing that with real time effects is new. When Audacity first released real time effects feature, there was a lack of compatible plugins. Audacity has now some free plugins that work nicely with real time effects. I will first show you how to make this piece of recording better with Audacity real time effects. After that, I will show you where to get and how to install it. If you look closely, I have moved the playback meter down here and made it a bit bigger. Volume levels in the meter play an important role in making your sound good. I will duplicate this track to compare it with the improved audio. To duplicate, I used Command D, it will be Control D if you use Windows. I will add real time effects on the top track and rename this track as Original. Click inside the track you want to add real time effects and click on Effects. You can add multiple real time effects. Click on Add Effect. Only the third party effects will appear here. Audacity does not support real time features with built in effects. Click on Muse FX, though you will not see this option. I will show you later how to install this. You can see how the real time effects are working on my recording and then decide if you want it. Before adding any effect, let's hear the original recording for a few seconds to know what we are improving. In this video, we are going to see how to record audio in Audacity. I am using version 3.2.3. Okay, the volume level is far from optimal, so I will fix it. On this effects list, I do not have an effect of increasing the sound volume. But I can add a compress effect, which will do two things simultaneously. It will decrease the gap between quiet and loud sounds so that everything becomes nicely audible. It will also increase the overall volume level. How the compress effect actually works is a very longer and complex topic, so I will avoid it. The goal of these real-time effects is to make the sound better just by hearing without navigating through complex details. The compress effect is added. If I click on compress, a pop-up will appear. This pop-up has some presets. It also has a dial if you want to fine-tune the effect. Let's hear how it sounds with pop vocal. In this video, we are going to see how to record audio in Audacity. I am using version 3.2.3. That is the latest version during recording of this video. You will see this red record button and recording in Audacity is as simple as pressing this button. It has improved the sound a lot. If you want to try other presets for compression, you can do that and hear the effect in real time. In this video, we are going to see how to record audio in Audacity. I am using version 3.2.3. That is the latest version during recording of this video. You will see this red record button and recording in Audacity is as simple as. It sounds best with pop vocals preset. I will add a couple of effects to make it more professional sounding. For beginners, I recommend Simple EQ. It also has Pro EQ, but using it would take some audio understanding. Let's hear how it sounds with EQ. In this video, we are going to see how to record audio in Audacity. I am using version 3.2.3. That is the latest version during recording of this video. You will see this red record button and recording in Audacity is as simple as pressing this button. Though recording is as simple as that, you have to take care of certain things before you start recording. For example, you have to check if the correct microphone is set, if the recording level is correct and the projected is. I feel it sounded best with the presence preset. However, there is one issue arising after adding these effects. You may notice the meter is going in the red zone most of the time. The volume level becomes red when it goes over 3 in this meter. If your audio is in the red zone most of the time, then it may result in clipping. Clipping sounds can become distorted, so you have to avoid getting into the red zone frequently. I will show you a bit later how to do that. If you close the pop-up, it does not mean you are cancelling the effect. It is active and working as long as the effect is stacked here and has the blue icon at the beginning of the effect. I will add another effect to take care of sound reflection in the recording environment. It improves the sound in a subtle manner, but it is worth it. Reverb effect can also be used to add funny sound effects. Let's hear. In this video, we are going to see how to record audio in Audacity. I am using version 3.2.3. That is the latest version during recording of this video. You will see this red record button and recording in Audacity is as simple as pressing this button. 
Vocal booth is a reverb preset that makes it look recorded in a booth. If your recording has quite some sound reflection, try this preset to minimize the effect. Though it will not remove all the sound reflections but will improve the situation. Let's hear a bit again with the reverb effect on and off. In this video we are going to see how to record audio in Audacity. I am using version 3.2.3. .3. That is the latest version during recording of this video. You will see this red record button and recording in Audacity is You may notice the hissing noise raised slightly after improving the sound quality. Unfortunately, these effects do not have a very good solution on that. It has a noise gate, but it completely cuts off the noise in silent parts of the recording. It causes another problem if you have strong hissing noise. The strong hissing comes back abruptly on the spoken parts of the recording. Let's hear a bit. In this video we are going to see how to record audio in Audacity. I am using version 3.2.3. .3. That is the latest version during recording. The noise gate works better with the speech preset. Let's hear. In this video we are going to see how to record audio in Audacity. I am using version 3.2.3. .3. That is the latest version during recording of this video. You will see this red record button and recording in Audacity is as simple as pressing this button. Though recording is as simple as that, you have to take care of certain things before you start recording. For example, you have to check if the correct... I am not a big fan of the noise gate, so I will disable the noise gate. I can completely remove the noise gate from this stack with no effect. If I want the meter to avoid getting into the red zone, I can adjust the effects a bit to see if it improves. In this video we are going to see how to record audio in Audacity. I am using version 3.2.3. .3. In this video we are going to see how to record audio in Audacity. I am using version 3.2.3. .3. In this video we are going to see how to record audio in Audacity. I am using version 3.2.3. .3. That is the latest version during the it is mostly in the red zone, even though I adjust some knobs. You may think of normalizing the sound, but it does not help that much with real-time effects. Let me show you. In this video we are going to see how to record audio in Audacity. I am using version 3.2.3. .3. Normalize worsened it because real-time and built-in effects do not work well together. The solution to this problem is to adjust the gain slider. You should decrease the volume through the gain slider so that the recording level does not cross minus 3 most of the time. I have to decrease the slider to minus 2 dB. Let's check how it sounds. In this video we are going to see how to record audio in Audacity. I am using version 3.2.3. .3. That is the latest version during recording of this video. You will see this red record button and recording in Let's compare how it sounds with respect to the original recording. In this video we are going to see how to record audio in Audacity. I am using version 3.2.3. .3. That is the latest version during recording of this video. You will see this red record button and recording in Audacity is... It has done quite a good job without any complex configuration. If you are happy with the improved audio, export the file. I am exporting this and will reopen this file to check that everything is ok. Improved Audio 2 is the exported file, I will drag it to Audacity. The waveforms look slightly different, but the sound is the same as this track. Let's check a bit. In this video we are going to see how to record audio in Audacity. I am using version 3.2.3. .3. So you see, it has worked perfectly. Now comes the big question, where do I get those effects? Click on add effect and get more effects at the bottom. You will be taken to the plugins page of Audacity. You can choose an individual plugin category or choose the plugin suites. Click on news FX. You can see a short description of which plugins you will get. Click on the news hub link. I could have given you the link directly, but this page is a rich place to get other third party plugins. You have to download and install MuseHub Helper Tool. This tool is available for all major OS, install it on your system. I already have installed it. I will open the MuseHub Download Helper. An icon will appear from where you can access MuseHub Effect plugins. 
Click on the effects to see which plugins are available. I already installed some effects, which show a tick mark. Click on get for the effects you want to install. After installing, restart Audacity, and your effects will appear under MuseFX. I will end this video with one piece of advice on noise reduction. As these plugins are not supporting good noise reduction, you can use built-in noise reduction. If you see you have loud white noise after adding all the real-time effects, you can reduce some noise this way. Too much noise reduction degrades the audio quality, so make a modest noise reduction with a 6 or 9 in this noise reduction slider. Keep other values to 6. So the top track is noise reduced with real-time effects, and the bottom track only has real-time effects. Let's hear and compare. In this video, we are going to see how to record audio in Audacity. I am using version 3.2.3. That is the latest version during recording of this video. You will see this red record button and recording in Audacity is as simple as pressing this button. Though recording is as simple as that, you have to I hope you have all the necessary information to improve your sound using real-time effects. Thanks for watching and see you next.